Kia ora, my name's Anna and I'm from String Bean Puppets. Welcome to Puppet Playtime at Capital E. Capital E is on Queen's Wharf on the Wellington waterfront. At Queen's Wharf you can also find a memorial to a famous dog called Paddy the Wanderer who lived in Wellington during the Great Depression. He was friends with everyone, especially children, and he was the official rat catcher to Wellington City. He had lots of adventures, including stowing away on ships leaving Wellington Harbour. Would you like to come and say hello to everyone, Paddy? So today we're going to be making marionette dog puppets like Paddy. <laughs> to make a marionette dog puppet like this one, you're going to need two cups, or you can use toilet rolls, uh, some scraps of paper for the dog's ears and nose and mouth and tail, things like that. And you're going to need some bottle tops or large buttons or an ice cream container lid. And also some string or wool. And the equipment you're going to need, some scissors, something for making holes in the cups, a pen and some sticky tape. So, these cups are going to be your dog's head and body. Like this. So now you need to decide what your dog's going to look like. What colour it's going to be, what its coat's going to be like. Is it going to be fluffy? Does it have long fur, short fur, curly fur? So you could colour in your cups, you could paint them. If, it was, if you were making a Dalmatian, for example, you could draw lots of black dots on. I'm going to show you how you can use paper to make fur for your dog. So you could use any coloured paper or wrapping paper. I'm making a brown dog, so I just used a brown paper bag. So you'll need to cut out a piece of paper that the width is the same length as your cup. That. Now, fold your piece of paper in half and you're going to cut slits in it. Not, you're going to stop before you reach the fold. So I'll show you. I'm going to stop where the dot is. And I cut my slits. So. So here's my dog's fur. So I can stick it onto my cup like that to make a shaggy dog. Or if I wanted to make a dog that had curly fur, I could get my scissors and I could curl each of the strips. So now I have a dog with curly fur. So that's what I've done. I've already covered a couple of cups in brown paper and added some paper curls onto this one. So this is going to be my dog's head and my dog's body. But he still needs a few more things to look like a dog. So on my dog's head, I'm going to add some ears. Now what sort of ears would you like your dog to have? Would you like to have some little pointed ears, some long floppy ears? So on a piece of paper, you can draw the ears. Maybe you're going to draw some long thin ears or some little round ears or some pointy ears that stick up or some long floppy ears. 
lots of different ideas. You could look at some pictures of dogs to give you some more ideas about dog ears. So for my dog, I cut out some long floppy ears and I'm going to just stick them onto my dog's head. This. I've used double-sided sticky tape. I've already put the double-sided sticky tape on, so it will just go on like this. But you can use normal sticky tape as well. So there's my dog's floppy ears. Now my dog's going to need some eyes. So I have some white paper here. And I'm going to draw some eyes for my dog. So what sort of eyes would your dog like? You're going to have some sad looking eyes, like that. Or some big eyes that look a bit surprised. Maybe they have eyelashes on them. So when you've drawn your eyes, you can cut them out and stick them on. So I've got some big round eyes for my dog, sticking on like this. And now a nose. So you can take, cut, snip off the corner of your piece of paper. So you've got a triangle. And now you can round the corners of that triangle to give yourself a nose shape. There you go. Like that. Just stick on a nose for my dog. There we go. Now we're going to move on to the dog's body. This is my dog's body. Now first, I'm going to trace around the mouth of my cup. This is because I want a piece of paper that can cover the mouth of this cup so you don't see the hole there. So I'm going to just trace around that. And then when I cut out the circle, I'm just going to cut it out a little bit bigger than that. So the, the whole circle is a little bit bigger than the mouth of the cup. So it will be able to cover that hole nicely. Now I'm going to cut out some legs for my dog. I need to cut out two strips to make the four legs of the dog. Here are my two strips. Now you're going to stick them onto the belly of your dog. Like that. So the two strips become one, two, three, four legs. Now it's up to you whether you cut long strips to make a long-legged dog or short strips to make a short dog. Now you're going to need to add some feet to the end of those legs. I'm going to use the bottle tops. Uh, it's important that you choose something that's a little bit heavy to help those legs hang down. So I've chosen bottle tops. You could choose large buttons or you could cut out uh, some feet out of the ice cream container lid and that would just add a little bit of weight to those legs. So I'm just going to stick them on. Just using, still using double-sided sticky tape here. And you can see the weight of the bottle tops just helps the legs hang down. All right. Oh, now my dog is just missing a tail. So you can cut a tail out of some paper. Again, think, what sort of tail does your dog have? Dogs have all sorts of tails. Does it have a little curly tail, a long, long floppy tail, a shaggy tail? It's up to you. I've got... A sh this dog is having a pointy tail with a bit of a curl to it. There he is. Now I'm going to need to join the head of my dog to the body of my dog with a neck. So I've cut another strip of paper out to be my dog's neck. Now, one end of the dog's neck sticks inside the bottom of the mouth of the cup, which is the head of the dog. So like that. And the other end of the neck sticks into the 
top of the mouth of the cap, which is the body of the dog. It's a bit like a tongue twister. Okay. Here it goes. <laughs> and now I'm just going to stick the circle over here to cover up that hole. So now all my dog needs is a string to make him into a marionette. Now I'm just using black wool. And before I add the string, I'm going to make the holes. So the first hole I'm going to poke is in between the ears here. And the second hole goes through the bottom of the cup and then up through the back of the dog. So through the bottom of the dog and through the back, like that. If you have a large needle, it's going to help you thread the string through. So I'll just put the string through the holes. That. And then tie the knots. Now, dogs love exploring, so I'm sure this dog's going to like to explore around your house. He might be sniffing around to see if he could find a bone, perhaps. So maybe you could make him a bone out of some paper. There we go. Or he might like to go into your garden and see what he can find in your garden. But this designer puppet can be used to make all sorts of other animals, like, for example, you could make a unicorn. So I just kept these cups plain white and I added some fluffy wool for a mane and a tail. I used the ice cream container lids for the feet on this one and some white paper for the legs and the neck and little pointy ears. And I rolled up a cone of pink sparkly paper for the horn of this unicorn. Or you could make a lion. So this lion, I covered the cups in a yellow polar fleece and I used the polar fleece also to make the legs and the neck and the ears. And then I found this fluffy feather, bit of a feather boar for the, the mane. So you can make a whole lot of different animals and then you could put on a puppet show if you like. So, happy puppet making.